In today's video, we're going to be rooting YPuffy from Hack the Box. Um, so let's get the IP address. It's 10.10.10.107. Let's open up our terminal. And let's run a NRAP scan with save scripts. Version 10.10.10.107. Already ran it. And we can see a few ports open. We got SSH, um, HTTP. And then we see SSMB and LDAP. So normally, I'll, I'd like to try to enumerate SMB a little more. I'm gonna use SMB client. Uh, I'm gonna put dash L, the IP address, and dash N for no password. And we can see MT status access denied. We can um, run some scripts against it, but it's, it's pretty up to date. Um, we're not gonna find any vulnerabilities that way. So let's enumerate LDAP. Um, the way I did it, I used nmap-script. Well, first let me show you um, what scripts nmap has. So we're gonna do find, we're gonna pipe any errors to def null. We're gonna grab for NSE, and then we're gonna grab for and map. Hold on, something went wrong there. Find two slash def null. Grab. And we can see that our end map scripts are located in the user share end map scripts folder, directory, whatever. So we can run end map dash script. Well, let's see what all dev scripts there are. Whoops, got the right crap again. So we've got LDAP root DSE, novel get pass, search. The one we're interested in is search, but I ran all of them. I ran it by passing in script equals LDAP asterisk the IP address. It does take a while to run. So let's just view the results. And we get a lot of interesting information here. We get some, an empty hash here. We get a username. And we get another username here. But Bob doesn't have an empty hash. So that was very curious to me. I ended up doing some research and I realized that um, with SMB client, you can pass NT hashes. Let's find the command for that. SMB client, it's this one right here. So if we run SMB client dash L4, what does dash L stand for? For host, list host. So the host is 10, 10, 10.107 dash U right here for username we know it's Alice 1978 I'm going to put password dash NT hash let me scroll up and copy it first hit enter go ahead and enter that password in and the shares are listed here we only have access to Alice so let's run SMB clients again. We're gonna do forward, forward slash, forward slash Alice, dash U, Alice 1978. Uh, password NT hash. We're gonna enter the password in again. And we're in, let's list uh, the contents. And we see this my private key dot PPK. So let's go ahead and download that. Exit out of this. So now we've got this file here. Let's run file against it. And we see it's ASCII text. Let's view the contents. And we can see it's some sort of key. It's not an SSH key. But if we go up here, we see putty user key file SSH RSA. So at this point, I decided to look up putty 
SSH to SSH key Linux. Um, the first result is this SSH.com article. And if we scroll down, we see exporting a private key to tech TIA SSH or open SSH. Um, we need putty gen, Kali or um, Backbox doesn't come pre-installed with that, but you can do apt get search putty. Oh, it's apt search. Apologize. And we need putty tools. I've already gone ahead and installed it, but if you don't have it, go ahead and run apt sudo apt get install putty tools. Enter your password and you'll have it on there. So then you're going to run that exact same command. It's putty gen, the name of the PPK file dash uppercase O private open SSH dash lowercase O and whatever we want to name our file. So putty gen, the name of the PPK file dash uppercase O open SSH key. Is that what it was or was it private? Private open SSH. Private open SSH. The output, we're going to name it um, SSH key dot RSA. And we get this new file here. So now let's try the SSH into the box. SSH as Alice 1978 10 10 10 107 I. SSH and we're in. So let's run ID. We're running as Alice, part of the group Alice. Um, let's see what is running. And it's open BSD 6.3. So at this point, I decided to Google that. Let me see. Open BSD 6.3 priv esque. And then the first article here, you see a flaw was found in X org, blah, blah, blah. So you click on this file here to GitHub page. And all we have to do is select this, right click copy. We're just gonna go ahead and paste that in. And we just wait till it finishes running. There we go. So let's run ID now. And you can see we're running as root, uh, group wheel. So we can go ahead and navigate to the root um, directory, run an ls, we see root.txt. We'll do a word count on it. And there you have it. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe. See you guys next time. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, guidedhacking.com slash donate, patreon.com slash guidedhacking. Please support us so that we can continue to make videos and peace out.